Hey tribe, Donna here from Transformational Healing and today is our second spring wild weed walk. Today our focus is going to be on ground ivy or creeping charlie, cat's foot. The Latin name is Glycoma heterosea. I think I said that right. But I use ground ivy myself in my breathe free tincture and a lot of people and herbalists do use it mostly for uh, lung issues and uh, breathing, asthma, um, even to the point of bronchitis. Those sorts of things are its traditional use. It has also often been used for coughs because it helps with mucous membranes. And along that line of helping with mucous membranes, some people also have used it for working with digestive issues and things such as diarrhea and hemorrhoids and the such also taken internally. Still along the lines of uh, mucous membranes, it's often used for ringing in the ears or tinnitus um, that probably has to do a lot with breaking up of the mucus in the sinus cavities, its most common use. But it's also often used for joint pain and achiness and arthritis and even for kidney and bladder stones and infections. So it's a pretty versatile plant when it comes to herbal lore. Magically, ground ivy is often used for divination and various things. I've looked all over for other uses and the only one that I'm getting to come up is a magical use. So I hope that maybe you can add it to your divination purposes if that suits you. My main purpose of using ground ivy is for my breathe free tincture, but I do also have it if you need it custom ordered to just get in a tincture by itself. But I like the combination of the four different herbs that I put in that breathe free tincture because they really help to get you to breathe free, to open up your lungs, and to be able to, you know, keep doing what it is you need to be doing. And it does help a little bit with my allergies, but that's probably also for me just because it's cutting down on all that mucus. So let's take a look at the ground ivy and see what it looks like since my whole entire yard behind me is filled with it. This is ground ivy. It's a member of the mint family. That's actually a pretty good, there you go. And you can see that it has the square stem. It's very small and it's a ground cover. I mean, basically I had to talk my husband into not mowing the lawn so that I could do this video for you. <laughs> but it's a beautiful, beautiful ground cover. Those flowers are just so delicate and pretty. And people do sometimes mistake this for purple dead nettle, which has uh, slightly different variations. If you go to watch, um, I believe it was the Spring 2 video from last year, it'll explain the difference between purple dead nettle and this. But what you're looking for with Creeping Charlie or Ground Ivy is you're looking for this beautiful round leaf. There we go. I'll zoom in on that later for you. Um, and it kind of has, see how it has a little print? And that's why it would be called cat's foot or cat's print. It has that little shape to it. And these leaves come off like this. The other plants do not have this leaf structure. They do not, the ones that are very similar to this do not have this leaf structure and do not have the exact um, formation of how the leaves actually look. But from afar, you can see that the top of this can get a little bit purpley near the top. And that's why people often mistake it for purple dead nettle. Now other things, cause I said, you know, I'll try to do only one. So we're gonna focus in on the one, but just sitting here, looking at those details under our feet we see that right here next to it is a dandelion you see that's dandelion in behind there 
obviously there's grass in my yard, but there's also clover. And I believe that that is a wild strawberries. Nope, that's cinquefoil. Had to look real quick. See, look. Cinquefoil or five finger. Um, and if you go across the yard, you will see all sorts of beautiful things. There's wild carrot. And I'm sitting down and just going across the yard. So just all around me right now. Let's see if I can find some violets. Oh, well, there's a violet leaf, no violet on it. Oh, there's some violets. See, I still haven't even gotten up. And there's violets. And over on the other side is just more of the same thing. Not ground ivy. Do you see the difference? Look at the flowers. This is attached. This is purple, still square, still in the mint family. But look at the leaves. Permanently attached, not on a steeple. Not ground ivy, but all not ground ivy. Right back there is ground ivy. And all of that is all ground ivy. Stands a lot taller too. Steeples around the top, that's not. And this is interesting. But I know that this yard is filled with all sorts of things. Now, I don't usually harvest um, right here except for some very specific plants that I do harvest out of the backyard. Um, and then all the things that I grow in the gardens, of course. But um, only in the back. I don't harvest in the front at all. It's way too close to the road. But back here, um, we're pretty safe. No one uses chemicals on their lawns except on the other side of the fence, so that's why I said I'm very careful. I will always harvest as far over there as I possibly can away from that. Um, but you can see there's a beautiful cherry back here. And some of my gardens are starting to come up, so we'll get strawberries, wild strawberries, the tomatoes are replanting themselves, the lettuce is starting to come back up, and some onions and berries and things. So I'll show off gardens a little bit at a time. Last Sunday, I was unable to do a live at two o'clock, so I gave you a little mini garden tour to show you the things that are starting to come up. We finally took the leaves off the garden and are hoping to be able to plant more stuff soon too. But I hope that you learned a little bit more about ground ivy or creeping charlie and that perhaps you might want to make some tea or try tincture just to see if it also helps you to break up the mucus that you have going on with all of your asthma. So many blessings tribe, looking forward to more herb walks and lots of other videos here on the channel trying to help you to get back into balance with nature. Many blessings and we'll see you real soon.